for us, and they're about to perform one of their trademark two-handed interviews here in the ITV studios exclusively for the South Bank Show. Ladies and gentlemen, John Bird and John Fortune. Uh, George Parr, uh, you are in an investment banker. I am, yes. Yes. And uh, as such, you have your fingers right on the pulse of the financial market. Yeah, very much so, yes. <laughs> and uh, during the summer, there's been uh, a great deal of turbulence and volatility, volatility, volatility in, in the, the market. Yes. yes, tremendous. Yes, tremendous. Yes, yes. and uh, wh what has caused that? Well, uh, you have to remember two things about the market. One is that they are made up of very sharp and sophisticated people mm. who... Uh, um, these are the greatest brains in the world. And the second thing you have to remember is that the financial markets, uh, to use the common phrase, are driven by sentiment. Uh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Well, uh, things, let's say, are just going along as normal in the market, and then, suddenly, out of the blue, one of these very sharp and sophisticated people says, My God, something awful's going to happen! Uh, <laughs> we, we, we've lost everything. Oh, my God, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, <laughs> shall I jump out of the window? Shall I jump out of the window? <laughs> exactly. Let's all jump out of the window. We, oh, we, we, sell! We've lost a sell! 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 sell. 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 Yes, precisely. Yes, precisely. <laughs> 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 and then a few days later, this same uh, sophisticated person says, you know, I think things are going rather well. And everybody says, yes, I, I agree with you. you know, I think we're rich. We're rich. Yes. We're rich. Bye-bye-bye. <laughs> yes. Bye-bye-bye, yes. yes. And that, that is, that's what we call market sentiment. Uh, but, uh, well, <laughs> yes, uh, surely we are exaggerating just a bit, aren't well, we? Well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, in August, in the middle of August this year, when the market absolutely plunged in, in London, the, uh, a well-known city firm, uh, State Street Global Markets, mm -hmm. uh, issued a statement in which it said, and I quote, Market participants don't know whether to buy on the rumour and sell on the news. Do the opposite, do both, or do neither, depending on which way the wind is blowing, unquote. <laughs> yes, and this is the kind of rigorous analysis, analysis that companies yes. will pay huge salaries huge, for. Uh, yes, mm. exactly. And a, a few days later, when the market had gone up a little bit, the senior equities advisor on ABM, Ambro Morgan, said, and I quote, we're back to happy days again. <laughs> well, no price is too high for that, uh, no. for that kind uh, of and mature and wisdom, is it? Certainly not. <laughs> the reason this sort of people are, are paid millions of pounds in bonuses. Yes, of course. Uh, during this summer, there have been actual causes behind the volatility in the markets, yes, haven't there? I yes. mean, specifically and especially in America, uh, granting vast numbers of mortgages mm. uh, to people who can't afford them yes. on properties which are diminishing, diminishing in value. value. Yeah, it's the so-called subprime uh, uh, situation, yes, the, the subprime, subprime market. Yes. Yes, how, how does that work, in fact? Well, imagine, uh, if you can, uh, say, <clears throat> uh, an unemployed black man sitting on a crumbling porch somewhere in Alabama in his string vest, and mm -hmm. <laughs> a, a chap comes along and said, would you like to buy this house before it falls down? And um, why do you let me lend you the money? And is this chap who says this, is he a banker? Oh, no, no, no. He's a mortgage salesman. He's depend his income depends entirely on the number of mortgages that he can arrange. So his judgment to arrange mortgages is completely objective? Completely objective, yes, yeah, absolutely. It would. <laughs> yes. Yes. And, uh, and what happens next? Well, then, this debt, this mortgage, is, is, is debt, is, 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 is taken, uh, bought by a bank, and packaged together mm -hmm. uh, on Wall Street with a lot of other uh, similar debts. Without going into much detail about what is actually... Without going into any detail. No, it's far too boring. <laughs> and so this is, this is put into a package of debt, and, so, and then it's moved on to Wall Street, and this, this is it's extraordinary what happens then, that mm -hmm. somehow this package of dodgy debts stops being a package of dodgy debts and starts being what we call a structured investment vehicle. <laughs> and, uh... SIV? An SIV, exactly, yes. Yes, yes. I see. And then someone like you comes along and, 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 and buys it. I, I buy it, yes. And uh, yes. then I will ring up, I don't know, somebody in Tokyo and say, look, I've got this package, do you want to buy it? Mm -hmm. And they say, what's in it? And I say, I haven't got the faintest idea. <laughs> and they say, how much do you want for it? And I say, a hundred million dollars. And then they say, fine, that's it. And that's the, that's the market. <laughs>
And presumably, this package, I mean, that kind of thing can happen several times oh, to it, the it, same yes, it could uh, possibly, package. Possibly, yes. And, uh, and every time it does, of course, um, then you or someone like you will get a fee and a markup and, and a profit. And, yes, and, yes. And, and so well, you might expect us to do it for nothing. It's hard work, being. <laughs> 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 In view of the fact that, that in these packages is a lot of dodgy debt, mm. uh, what is it about it that attracts the, the financial, investor. you know, yeah. risk-takers? Yeah, well, because um, these, f these hedge funds, as they're called, which specialise in these debts, um, they all have very good names. You mean they're responsible <laughs> companies? No, no, I don't, it's nothing to do with their reputation. They have actually very, very good names. The, the names they think up for them are very good. I'll give you an example. <laughs> there, there, there's a, a very well-known American Wall Street firm called Bear Stearns mm -hmm. who have two of these hedge funds which specialise in these, these mortgage debts. And uh, they lost so much money, well, lost so much of its value, that Bear Stearns announced that they would have to put in $3.2 billion into one of the funds to try and keep it afloat. $3.2 billion? $3.2 billion, yes, yes. And even then, they said the investors couldn't get any money out of it and they were going to let the other fund go. But one of these funds was called the High Grade Structured Credit Strategies Fund and the other was called the High Grade Structured Credit Enhanced Leverage Fund. <laughs> well, that sounds very good. That's it? good, it isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Very actually, actually, this is the, the magic of the market. What started off as lending a few thousand dollars to an unemployed black man in a string vest has become a high-grade structured credit enhanced leverage fund. <laughs> I like the sound of it. It is good. Well, it sounds very trustworthy. I mean, it's got good words in it. It's got yes. words like high. High is good. High is good. <laughs> yes. Better than low, anyway, isn't yes. it? Yes, absolutely. And, and structured is another good word. Very good. Enhanced. Is I love enhanced. Enhanced is very good. I mean, I'd buy anything if it With said enhanced. enhanced. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, it might have been different if it said the unemployed black man in the string vest fund, but... but, <laughs> but, but it, it, yes, because then uh, alarm bells might alarm start... Alarm bells might possibly be ...to ring. But uh, despite these very plausible names, mm. surely the reality is that the people that lent all this money have been incredibly stupid. Oh, no. No, no, the reality is that what was stupid is for at some point somebody asked how much money these houses were actually worth. I mean, stupid. if they hadn't bothered to ask that question, then everything would have gone on as perfectly normal, but they, <laughs> unfortunately they did. I see, but now, you see, people are saying the crisis is likely to turn into a financial meltdown. I mean, can that be avoided? It can be avoided, provided uh, that governments and central banks g give us, the financial speculators, back the money that we've lost. <laughs> but isn't that rewarding greed and stupidity? No, no. <laughs> it's rewarding what the Prime Minister Gordon Brown called the ingenuity of the markets. That is the... <laughs> you see, and... and, and... and we, don't want, we don't want this money to spend on ourselves. We want this money just to go into the market so that we can carry on borrowing and lending money as if nothing had happened without thinking too much about it. <laughs> yes, but if the worst came to the worst, then... You didn't get this money, what then? Well, then there'd be another market crash, and then I would say to you what people like me always say, that it's not us that will suffer, it's your pension fund. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, George Parr. My pleasure.